So let's just wrap this up and look at the idea of digital payment solutions acceptance. Is it, is it really being accepted out there? I mean, who knows about this? Well, here's a little outfit called Goldman Sachs. You've probably heard of that. And it says in the article, the future of finance, redefine the way we pay in the next decade. What this says is cryptocurrency. Now, cryptocurrency is basically another way of saying digital currency or digital payment solutions. I really like that one because that's what we're really doing is we're using it to, to have really, really inexpensive payment solutions. But anyway, cryptocurrencies are part of the technology megatrend that could change the fundamental mechanics of financial transactions. Well, the more you do with this, that's for sure. Now, how big is this? Well, we're going to talk mostly about Bitcoin in terms of acceptance. We'll explain that why in just a minute. But that's $5 billion of Bitcoin that are out there. The transactions of Bitcoin are, are going over $50 million a day. And so you can see that that is quite a bit of transactions and just getting started. The, the wallets have grown from 1 to 7 million. That's an, that's an increase of 700% over the last short little while. Merchants have grown up by 1,000%. Okay, more and more merchants are accepting Bitcoin. We're talking about Bitcoin here. The Electronic Transactions Association survey found that 23% of merchants plan to use some type of digital currency within the next 24 months. Well, that's almost a quarter of the merchants, okay? Now, here's another thing. Venture investment in support technologies and applications supporting the blockchain so we're talking about blockchain technology, which we just described to you, reached $30 million last year. I think that was the year before, because I think actually the in total investment jumped up to $400 million and is rapidly approaching toward a billion from a couple of different articles I've read. And again, this is the same amount that was invested around 1995 in the internet. Let's continue and just show you a few more. Here is the Capital News. That's from Kelowna up in British Columbia. And this is virtual currencies challenging traditional banking system. And I guess that was a whole three, four page article all about Bitcoin and its acceptance around the world. Here's another one. I'm sure you guys have all heard of PayPal as a method of payment. And actually you can see here on the diagram where it says buyer's credit card company, PayPal merchant bank, PayPal chargeback department, seller. These are all extra charges as it goes along the line here. Anyway, this is saying Bitcoin, online payments, and the scourge of PayPal. And again, this guy say that it's going to cause them some difficulties in their business because Bitcoin is so much easier and less expensive than PayPal. That's basically what they were talking about here. Here's another one from Goldman Sachs. That's a big bank, as you know. Bitcoin is a mega trend. Bitcoin, along with improved payment security, big data analytics and faster payment networks are the components of a technology trend that will disrupt the payment ecosystem. Now, Deloitte is a large accounting firm. OK, they're one of the big four, one of the big four in the world. And they talk about the potential for the blockchain te technology, that it's becoming wider and wider accepted. But I just want to read the last sentence here. In the banking and insurance sector, for instance, blockchains could be used to strengthen and streamline compliance checks on customers and reduce the risk of fraud. That's what we're talking about. Remember, the blockchain is the peer-to-peer, -peer, everybody sees open, transparent, push as opposed to pull technology. Just to remind you, of what that's all about. The more you watch this stuff and stick around, the more you'll understand it and you'll see the simplicity and the beauty of this. Because the more you understand this, the more you feel comfortable with it and the more you'll want to participate in it, I'm sure. Okay, here's JP Morgan. Now this is another, you know, huge financial institute. JP Morgan partners with digital assets on the blockchain trail and has teamed up with this holdings to blockchain initiative that aims to make the trading process more efficient and cost effective. That's the things I was talking about where technology, you can see again, the blockchain technology is not in question. That's not like somebody wasn't checking the internet. It's what I was saying about the 1990s and it's improving. These are all the applications that they're getting to do this. And there's more and more of them all the time because you can really use this blockchain to track and record anything. Anything that's in the, in the record stays there permanently and again, remember this blockchain? We could go back and look at every single transaction back to the beginning of time. In fact, there's even a phrase called the Genesis block. That was the first block ever, ever created. And that was just back in 2009 when the first Genesis block was happened. So since then, of course, there's been a big long string of blocks. But everything's visible if you ever want to go look at it. I don't think you do, but that's the nice part about it. It's all there. And lastly, the value of Bitcoin, teaching your kids financial responsibility. The whole idea there is that if the kids got onto cash transactions and financial transactions, then it would be much better for them in the future. And I definitely agree with that, which I would have learned earlier myself. All right. So we're just about completed on this particular video. This guy here, though, I would really say go up and look at his name, Andreas Antolopoulos. Obviously, he's a big Greek name. Uh, the blockchain is, is an encrypted de decentralized network model for financial security and trust and can be used for so much more than currency. Well, that's why I was just about to say they're going to add on more things. 
We're just at the beginning. This technology will move so much faster because it's driven by the global freedoms of the internet. So it's in the hands of the people is basically what, I, what he's saying. But I, the reason I centered this one out is this guy did a great talk. This was a talk he was giving, as you can see, the Senate in Canada. It's probably about an hour and a half long, but if you ever want to find out about the idea of digital currency and where it's going, what's going, this guy is absolutely an expert. It's a fascinating conversation, and you may want to dig into it so you've got a higher comfort level.